beaten. Katenko's moved into third. Mary King keeping on, but only at the one pace, heading towards the final fence. Vintage Star, Witchwoods Brook. Katenko behind them in third. And the front two land together, but again, Vintage Star out jumped Witchwoods Brook. It's going to be a slow mo finish. They're into the last hundred yards. Don't rule out Mary King, who's closing in behind Katenko. Witchwoods Brook has got the measure of Vintage Star, and he's holding on grimly under Connoring. Witchwoods Brook for Kevin Glastonbury, won the Peter Mark. Oh, what a legend, yeah, he's got a special place in my heart. Um, I had one of the best days of my life on him in, uh, up in Haydock in the Peter Marsh. Won my uh, first grade two on him, and uh, first and only grade two. So yeah, he's got a very special place. I've got a big picture of him over my fireplace, and uh, I look at him every day, and he's, he's in a class art to me. So I hope he gives everyone brilliant fun, and he deserves the best of, uh, best of retirement and everything for the rest of his life. And he's now called Carpenter, by the way. Carpenter, oh, brilliant. <laughs> Very good. I got a new name. Brilliant, Rigger. Catch it. Just jumping out of the sun like Japanese zeros. <laughs> I think what you're envisioning and what I'm catching on <laughs> is completely different. <laughs> <laughs> And how do we get him to be a relaxed, retired racehorse and team chaser? 
Well, he comes and lives in small of the family, as all the rest do. Come here, come on. Come on, talk to him. He's very shy. He's, he's camera shy. But he's also, as you see, not nervous anymore. He's not, not nervous. He's not nervous. But, I mean, we're just a great big family here, and they, they, they go where they want. They can go out if they want. They come in if they want. But they do get regular work, and they also get regular holidays. So they go out and chill. The first thing we do when they come off the track and come to us is just turn them out. We turn them out with maybe one or two others to start with, and then we slowly start introducing them to the rest of the herd. Come on, here you go. Come on. <laughs> Good boy. Um, so the, the, everything happens slowly, and it's it's just part of the it's part of the family life, and they become they become one with the rest of us. You know, what we've got to do is depressurize them from the racetrack, and they just become part of the team. And they're herd animals, so they they love being in a a group like this. And he's only in when he wants to be in. Most of the time, he's out. In the winter, he's rugged up to the eyeballs, or he's in, tucked up, nice and warm, you know, because he's thoroughbred. That's what they do. But no, yeah, we like happy horses.
Not racing team today. Just a couple more to Harry come. Darren. Oh, is it? It's good fun, I think. Yeah. Um, in the sunshine. Sadly, sounds like we weren't as fast as we felt. But <laughs> um, competitive. It was. Um, yeah, it was good. We had some nice horses, and um, it was a good laugh. Thank you. To the aim of the game is you've got four in the team. Line first three home over. count. And the in farm. our not just the day, competition the today, it was the fastest well. time prep win. Work goes into so, it, so a huge thank you to them. beforehand, going, are we going to try and be competitive, or are we just going to try and get round? Funnily enough, Harry was like, what? We're in it it's to amazing. win yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, of course. Well, we had to give it a go, but it sounded like it sounded like it felt faster than it looked. Everyone after said, oh, that was a nice yeah. round. I was yeah. yeah. looking for a nice round. Okay, yeah. I was hoping for a fast round, but um, nice I think for a beginner's effort, it wasn't too bad. Is it the first time you've done something like this? It's going to be challenging. Yeah, I basically really figured that it couldn't be teams at the moment. too much different to racing other than you wouldn't get a massive penalty off if you got a beat afterwards. <laughs> well, yeah, you were the leader. You were meant to probably finish in first anyway. So yeah, that was it. But it was good fun. A bit of responsibility for you, remembering the course, not stopping, because if you stop or run out, chances are we were likely to. So, you did well. Well, I think it was more down to Leo than me. The, the horse that I was on, he was a good boy. It was a bit of point-and-shoot action. But it was... Um, no, it was, it was actually good fun and so it's nice for horses like that that have had a good life racing away. to now be doing this because obviously the horn their, their the life has been galloping in a group definitely and a that's what they're team. good at and to be fair, and don't speak for the horse I was riding but he looked like he Whoa. loved it today, I mean, he's, you know, he was a, a real pro Simon Cody at the back, I can see. fantastic, got he had his ears pretty the way. I don't think he, he was as tired as me when he got to the finish You're an eye So making his debut today on the old goal team chasing is racing. <laughs> <laughs> What's that team called?